Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro. We are here with a 941 save percentage, a 146 GAA. Is that a big deal? I don't know. We've got the San Jose Sharks in round number one. Currently, we are leading the series two to one. So we're in a decent spot, you know, it's not like we're two games ahead of them or anything, but I'd rather be in our situation than theirs, is what I'm trying to say. I will quickly run through the lines yet again so we can see what's going on here. We got Laugh, Borgo, and Marner, Hatra Kane playing with Holloway and Yams, Nuge on the third line playing with 87 overall pool party and Ratcliffe. We have some depth here. Blake Coleman playing with Dominic and Zachary. Defensively, we have Nurse and Lilligren, Sanheim and Sidorov, Matheson, and Alexiev in net. Timothy Jimothy, 93 overall, which I think is one higher than we were last... Mm? I think last episode we were 92, yeah. All right, let's get after it. We have one game in Edmonton. Regardless of how this goes, we will have to play at least one game in San Jose. So hopefully... We come out of Canada with a 3-1 series lead, but let's see if we can make that happen. I want one shot to happen before I said... <laughs> I knew it! I literally knew that was gonna happen. That's why I said it. First shot of the game. Anyway, first period, 2-0 San Jose. Eklund gets his second. Second period, 3-1. We are gonna jump in. It's not looking good. We have an uphill battle, but... At least we still have a fighting chance. Eklund trying to take a weird angled shot there from the point. I don't even know why he would go for that. But we have a power play inbound. If we're going to get any momentum going, this is the prime chance. So we got to score here. We really do. I get that after this, there will still be 17 minutes in the third period. I'm just saying this would be absolutely massive. And I already know that the momentum would shift big time if we do manage to get one here. Bennett almost gets dropped. I'm going to milk that for a save. Sorry, trying to pad the stats here. Speaking of padding stats, let me have that and send it over to you because 10 tried to read my mind and thought I was going left, but he was dead wrong. Mostly because I hadn't done anything yet, so I had tons of time to make up my mind. Kane is in. They're giving him some room. He takes a great shot. The rebound was right there, but we still can't score. Lilligren with it. Gets it to Kane. Has the puck poked off of him. Nice job. Lilligren just supporting Kane out there. You love to see it. I'll try to remember after this game. I will change the helmet if they fix that bug. I do, however, feel like the odds of me remembering to change my helmet are quite low. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Blocker save. Timo. Trying to walk out. This guy really thought. I mean... That's a fair assumption, because I used to flop around like a fish when the puck was in front of the net. And I've just been chipping away, piece by piece, finding the things I suck at, and trying to improve on them. That's a prime example right there of <laughs> growth on my part. Nice pass, and it will not go in, because the shot, pretty lackluster. If I'm gonna be quite frank with you, Nuge. You gotta do better than that, which by the way... He had zero points in three games, right? I mean, we have only played three playoff games, but... Yamamoto was hurt for the first game. Which is why I felt the need to specify three. Regardless, Mans doesn't have a point yet. Unless he got... I wasn't really paying attention to who got our goal. So I kind of forget. Maybe he got it. Yeah, we're running out of time real quick. I think we're gonna have a best of three on our hands. Unfortunately. But you know what? I don't really care if we lose. Because, like you know... Edmonton kept me here against my will. So, if we win, great. If we lose, awesome. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that this is a win-win for me. I also saw a comment when asking for a trade. Apparently, the first time you talk to the GM, you could just say to them, What a play. Don't say that. Well, maybe say that. I guess the option, other than asking for a trade, is basically just saying, you know, nothing. Have a good day. Which doesn't make any sense. You just barged into their office. To say, have a nice day? Little weird. Regardless, that is an option. And then, you can go ahead 14 days later or something specific. I'll just wait until the next opportunity comes up. But you should be able to ask for a trade, and it should work. So, I will test that theory. Capo, a 9.52 save percentage. Definitely outplayed me in that one. TJ Oshi, how dare you score on a fellow TJ? 
Disgusting behavior. All right, this reminds me. Let's check out the goalie helmets. Moment of truth. Did they fix it? Mask. Standard mask? No, they did not. So I'm stuck with a standard mask. I'm gonna try it for one game, just for fun. I'm really hoping for either a shutout or to get lit up in this game because of that helmet. The best of three with two away games, potentially, starts right here, first period. Scoreless. Second, 1-1, one, one. tie game. Eklund is on fire. That helmet looks so dusty and I am here for it. That went flying, holy. I gotta see a replay of that. Should it have went flying is the real question I wanna know here, or was this? No, it absolutely should not have. <laughs> there we go. Someone in the crowd going home with that puck. Also, bring Stanley to San Jose? I doubt it. Unless someone on the Edmonton Oilers was born in San Jose, then maybe. And we have a power play slashing We'll put Mario in the box for two. Let's see if we can capitalize and get the one goal lead. I have no idea why I specified it'd be a one goal lead. That makes sense, you know, if it's like a two goal lead or a three goal lead, something like that. But you could probably just say to get the lead and that would make a lot more sense. Here we go. Get me the biscuit, the basket, send it over to Yessie Pool Party. Nice. This Capo guy is just everywhere at once. We really must put an end to this outrageous man. Nice passing. Nice passing. A wide open net for Nuge to bury it. Right after I was just saying this guy has no points. He shoves it right in my face and I could not be more proud. I'm not going to take any credit away from him. You know, it was a clean finish. He crashed the net. But that goal was the passing. Get out of here, TJ. You already know how it is. You can't score on me. Maybe simulation me, but you will never score on real me. Nice. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? Incoming Oshi goal. Oh my word. That was extremely close. Oshi. Did I even get a piece of that or did he just miss? Doesn't matter. Not important. Not an important detail. What is important, however is that we are about to be shorthanded. This is gonna be a very important kill, boys. Let's start it off with a draw win. That was clean from Coleman. And then Sidor, send it down. Guys, what are you doing? I don't understand this game. I Like, what are the AI doing? I hope you guys realize that if we do come out of this game with a dub, the helmet's staying. It is here until we lose or until I have an absolute stinker because that tends to happen and I'm willing to change if that circumstance pops up as well. Nice shot from Laugh. He gets his own rebound, but Capo's all over it. Eklund, the guy has been a stud muffin in this series, would likely be the one to tie it up the way, <laughs> you know, his game's been going. And speaking of Eklund, here he is. He's in! Did Meyer pass that or did that just slip right through? Doesn't matter, not important. Timo walking in now though. That will be blocked by Rantanen. They have quite the attack going right now. And we get the puck out, good job. 7.40 to go. The Edmonton Oilers enter the Sharks zone, but Bennett, the man who has in fact scored on me in this series. And again, I mean Mimi, the simulation doesn't count. That just, you know is irrelevant. It's not, but to me it is. Merkley with a low shot, kicked aside, and Yams is right there. Headman pass up to Kane. He's in. He's in. Making a couple moves. Finds Yamamoto again, and that will be kicked away aggressively by Capo. Toe drag shot. Oh no. Yep. Send it over to you. You're wide open, Darnie. Skates into the boards, and then Headman's the puck to Yams. Over to Kane again. These two are creating magic. Blockered, and the defense are all over them. We're playing good. We are playing very well as a cohesive unit at the moment, and we might see another goal. Laugh gets it to Kane, but that... Let's go! Big mistake, finally. 
from their netminder, who has been unreal in this series. I love that. Thank you. Once again, for proving that I'm not the only one that makes that mistake. Given the time and now our insurance marker, I'm feeling a lot more confident we're going to get the lead in this best of three. Laugh is having himself a third period. Playing great. Sandheim and Lilligren going back and forth. I don't know what we're on right now, but we stepped it up big time. Seemingly out of nowhere. Nice try. But you will be rejected this time. You might be able to score a lot during the simulation. But as soon as I get in here, it's a different story. Locker. Will put that one into the corner. Lilligren kicking it to the other side. Timo's there to get it. Ranting it back to the point. They're passing real well right now. And thank you so much, Laugh. The praise that I have given you for this third period so far has just been boosted. Come on. What a third period from your Edmonton Oilers to ensure that we get ourselves a 1-0 lead in the best of three. If the Sharks actually have that Titantron thing, incredible. That's a big hit. It was laugh too. Clearly they are salty at how phenomenal that young man played in this third. Let's head back to Edmonton and hopefully close this one out. 29 shots, only one goal against. But who's counting? Me. I am. An A- minus overall. Just getting green every single game. 939 save percentage. I just realized how much more dusty that helmet's gonna look with a home jersey. I'm excited. If we win this, we are on to round number two. We start the game with a power play. And for some reason, it paused. Oh, never mind. It five on three. First period? That is very unfortunate. Second period. Come on. They gave us a five on three to start the game, and we did nothing. And now, we are shorthanded to start the third, and we're down by two. Not a great situation to be in. But, you know what? We've been playing better in San Jose anyway. So this could still be alright. The only concern I have is that when they win this game, they are going to have the momentum. Glove save. Nurse passes it to Holloway, who finds a goal on the glove side. He was screened. I love how the fans just freeze. They are so broken. But anyway, that's a great way to start off this third period where... We were shorthanded, and down by two, and now we're only down by one with tons of time left. That's a huge goal. How did that even go in? I'm not going to ask questions. Let's go! Mitch Marner walks in over the blue line. We have been putting something in the water because these third periods I've never seen, from this team at least. Mitch Marner... Buries it on the blocker side, and it is all tied. So maybe, just maybe, we won't need a game seven after all. Nice try, Eklund. He's been the heart and soul of this team. And... That was scary. Just a little bit. Oh, no. Marner, you legend. I don't know what happened to their netminder in the last couple games here as well, but... Kind of seems to be falling apart. Marner is taking a penalty. So if they score here, it could be huge for them. But I'm confident we're going to kill this thing off. Timothy, Jimothy, get poked. Wait, where is it? Smother it. No, 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 no. I'm not going to pass it. No shot. <laughs> I was actually about to, though. And it took every fiber of my being to prevent that from happening. We could have literally had the worst line change ever. All six members of their squadron even their goalie came up and could be surrounding our net in an arc formation no one from the edmonton oilers to be found i would still internally debate on passing it out tj when are you gonna give up my guy they are really cranking up the pressure here we got to get this puck out oh they are on the power play still okay that explains a lot Just an impressive shot. Really, though. I can't even be upset about that. 
ripped it home for the hat trick. Are you kidding me, Samuel? They almost got another one. Oshi right in front of the net. But I think my streak of preventing Oshi from scoring is going to stay strong throughout this entire series. Nice pass and a great shot. But Capo is all over that one. He almost makes another fatal mistake by passing it out. Bennett has it again. That guy, scary in this one. We do still have seven minutes. So it's not like we are incredibly desperate just yet. But the sooner the better. I don't want to leave it to last second. William Eklund takes a shot right into the mitt. That was easy peasy. Timo Meyer with a massive hit on whoever that was. What's going on? Where is it? Holloway. Make a move. That kind of works, I guess. Nice. Power play inbound, and we've been putting up a lot of pressure, actually, in the last few minutes. We're not letting them push this Game 7 easy. Well, well, well. Now they're actually dumping the puck down. Something I have not seen in a very, very long while. Oh, we're on the penalty kill up by one goal with two minutes left? Yeah, let me just skate up the ice real quick. 40 seconds left and about five on the power play. Yeah, they are even strength now. Boyd has it. Wait. They just got even strength now. What the heck? That felt way longer. All right, we're shorthanded. Down by one. 20 seconds left. We're going to a game seven. Not going to let you score another one, though. You can have the one goal dub, but you ain't getting two. Oh, wow. They are destroying us in the hits department. Oh, they did have 32 shots. Okay, so didn't play that bad. And yeah, that Sam Bennett shot was just ridiculous. I can't blame myself for that. Let's see how everybody is doing the player stats. We have five points in five games from Kyler. He came to win. It's also worth noting that he has a 20% for shooting percentage. And then Hyman has a 50 because he has two goals and four shots. Kane, Marner, Laugh, and Nurse all have four points, so that's not bad. Jimothy has a 933, 187, and I believe that Capo is also playing very well. So this series appears to be a bit of a goaltender duel overall. Let's look at San Jose. Yeah, he has a 926 and a 228, so also playing very well. Here's the playoff tree. Florida, the Islanders, the Rangers, the Predators... The Ducks have all advanced. Oh my goodness. We're the, wait, are we the only ones still going? Avalanche are on and so are the Senators. Yep, we're the last series going and we will find out what happens in the next video. Hopefully we take a dub and move on, but if we lose, so be it. I'm moving to a new team. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you soon.